My name is Marcin Polak. I represent uh, the Think Foundation from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, the Think Foundation aims at increasing uh, 21st century skills and competences of youth and adults. And I am the leader of the Novigado project, uh, which is uh, dedicated to such important things like uh, uh, flexibility of the learning space, active learning and uh, innovative teaching. Uh, in the past 30 months, uh, Novigado partner organizations have uh, worked hard to design, formulate and publish a lot of content materials and tools that then can help teachers to explore and use the school learning environment more efficiently and uh, in line with uh, principles of pedagogy. Uh, I'm very, very glad we will share so many interesting uh, things, issues, ideas and tools today with the European community of uh, education practitioners and stakeholders. At the beginning of this event, let me uh, thank and express gratitude for all persons involved in this uh, project, <clears throat> as well as in this event, of course, especially for our experts and speakers that have joined us today. So thank you very much for dedicating your time for, for our project. Before uh, I move to more specific issues related to active learning and flexible learning spaces, I need to mention that there are six partner organizations in the Novigado Consortium. So th there are two NGOs, which is Think Foundation from Poland and European Schoolnet from Belgium. Uh, there are two public educational institutions related to, uh, to uh, ministries of education. Reso Canope from France and Yigitek from Turkey, and two public schools, which are uh, LP2I from France and AEF CPS from Portugal. Together, we've been working uh, on Novigado project uh, since December uh, 2019. Uh, <clears throat> And we also need to mention that Novigado is funded from the resources of uh, Erasmus Plus program from the Key Action 2, Strategic Partnership School Education. Uh, we will not have uh, enough time to present all our outputs and results, so I strongly recommend you visiting our website uh, where uh, we collect uh, uh, results of the project which is going to uh, finish in May this, this year. Uh, so already you can find a lot of materials uh, on the website in uh, five uh, languages. Uh, the main language is English, but we have also uh, some translations from the partner uh, uh, organization. So we have uh, results, some results, some publications available in, uh, in French, in Polish, in Turkish and in Portuguese. <clears throat> Let me focus uh, on, on the objective of the project, uh, just to explain what, what uh, you, you can expect from it. So, uh, Novigado is rather not a project about beautiful modern school spaces uh, designed by masters of architecture with building projects directly from the newest architectural magazines. Uh, instead, we focus on school spaces that are present, in, let's say, in ordinary schools across Europe. So in Novigado project, we aim at activating students uh, in classrooms. What can be done, uh, we believe, with the better use of educational technologies and better use of the school infrastructure. So this is what uh, is expressed on the slide. Uh, as you see, we, we try to support the, uh, the transition uh, in schools. The design of learning space uh, has recently become more important for uh, education stakeholders, as well as for architects and designers. Uh, we can see many visually interesting school buildings across European countries. Uh, we, we follow uh, some projects. And we see that uh, many of them uh, offer a lot of uh, learning opportunities uh, for students, both indoor and outdoor. However, sometimes it may happen that uh, we can see a beautiful modern school building 
which is designed carefully to offer uh, very comfortable learning environments. But then sometimes we can discover that still there is a very formal instructional approach in teaching uh, at this school. So students mostly sit and listen to a teacher in front of them. So the question is, how can we stimulate the transition of pedagogical everyday practice in schools? Obviously, to succeed, we must start with teachers. The key to educational change is not the shape of the building, but the mind of the teacher, his, her attitude to teaching and, of course, teaching skills. <clears throat> we believe that uh, great pedagogical change uh, is possible in every school. Uh, it doesn't matter what the school is, and in most cases it could be done without serious investments uh, or modernizations or rebuilding uh, the infrastructure. Of course, some changes uh, would cost and would be needed, uh, but probably most of uh, uh, changes that we propose in, in the Novigado project are affordable for, for schools uh, without serious uh, uh, costs. Uh, of course, it does not mean that we are against designing modern, beautiful school buildings, not at all. It's always great to see uh, a new learning environment, uh, which is comfortable for, for both students and teachers. But here in Novigado project, uh, we talk more about, uh, we, we talk uh, about something more than design. Uh, let's say we talk uh, about level up, uh, namely the link between pedagogy and the school space. And I believe personally, and we believe in the consortium, that this is a high time to talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> there are some changes at schools uh, across Europe, so we see the transition phase, the schools slowly enter it. And more and more teachers use uh, ICT tools, they are more and more popular and uh, more and more teachers look for uh, opportunity to engage their students. They have tools for that. So the discussion about how to educate at schools, knowledge-oriented or competence-oriented education, is already presented uh, in many countries. And uh, this is a very uh, long discussion and we still have not worked uh, uh, too many solutions in, uh, in particular countries. So newly Schools, newly built schools are rather quite different learning environment. Um, so uh, the new learning space may, may also have impact on teaching practices. And, and we know some cases when in a new buildings, uh, uh, teachers uh, for a while were not very uh, aware of the opportunities they have and not very uh, safe in a meaning that they they discovered that the space is something different from what they uh, had uh, before. So this is uh, in this slide you, you see the a bit of a project background which uh, lied uh, uh, before um, uh, which lied behind the Novigado project and we formulate this uh, when we were uh, launching uh, our uh, actions in the project. However, the physical dimension of a school is very important to us. Uh, we consider the role of the learning spaces as enabler and impetus in the active learning process. The school environment, after Italian educator Loris uh, Malaguzzi, uh, is the third teacher. The third teacher that offers added value to learning and teaching processes. According to Malaguzzi, uh, the setting of the classroom and the school should not only be functional, but also should stimulate students' creativity. So envi environments must be flexible to allow teachers to be responsive to the interest of the learners and to stimulate them to construct knowledge together. These are very important words. We try to follow those words uh, in our publications and in our uh, tools. Uh, so, summing up, what we may say uh, that for, for a near visible change in schools, 
we should be inviting some active learning and innovative teaching in flexible learning spaces, which is the second name of Novigado project. Uh, we will try to share ideas during this event and present how this change could be achieved in every school. Uh, it doesn't matter where the school is uh, located and what the building of the school is, uh, uh, what, what is the shape of the building. I also would like to uh, mention that uh, for me personally and for uh, Think Foundation, this is a, a second project on uh, educational spaces. Uh, I have a moment to uh, to recommend you to visit uh, a website uh, eduspaces.eu uh, where we have uh, a series of guidebooks from the previous uh, Erasmus Plus project uh, from Edu Spaces, and and uh, you, you will see a lot of uh, uh, great uh, stories from schools from ordinary schools and uh, this, uh, these guidebooks also could be very inspirational for you. You can download them from, from the website and, uh, and use uh, the ideas and, and uh, the um, solutions uh, in your schools. It's good to mention that this previous project was uh, selected by the European Commission as the success story. So uh, this is quite well known in, in, in the uh, European uh, um, at the at the European level, and uh, I already discovered that there are some uh, uh, citations and quotes uh, about it in uh, in European educational publications. Let me jump into the program now. I believe this uh, the program of this event is very inspirational and content valuable for for educators uh, from all countries. <clears throat> we will meet uh, great speakers today, and uh, we will be able to share uh, a lot of experience and ideas. Uh, some of speakers uh, represent uh, uh, Novigado team, like Xavier, like uh, uh, Barbara, Martin, and Bart. And uh, we also invited uh, some experts from, from other organizations, which uh, will help us to discuss the, the issue of the flexible learning spaces and active learning uh, and, and future of, uh, of learning uh, today. So uh, I think uh, we'll be switching slowly to, uh, to the main um, part of the event.